So here's a quick behind the scenes of how this painting was made. Um, most of this, like 90% of this was done in Blender. So here's my Blender viewport and you can see it's pretty close to where we end up other than, you know, just some fogs and smoke and photo textures. Um, but most of the work was done at Blender. So I'll show you guys what's going on behind the scenes. So in Blender here, we kind of have this Euro building. Let's get some textures. Um, and this is basically like, these are different assets that I have made. Um, using photos and I then, you know, I use them a lot in different scenes and that's combined then with um, all these sci-fi pipey things, different bits um, from asset packs. So people like Ian Hubert and, you know, I'm just constantly looking on the internet for asset packs that I can use because uh, I'm lazy. And then all of this sits on top of uh, Kitbash Futuristic Slums building. And this is the first time I'm using these and they're pretty cool because you can kind of populate your scene with all these different types of buildings. And um, it, it speeds up the process quite a bit. So in terms of modeling, that's pretty much all we have over here. These are just some basic roads, just lines. and um, this train and train track is from Ian Hubert as well. This guy, you've probably seen him before, Mr. Truck Sub. Um, I've modeled this as well using kind of the same approach I use for these, like a bunch of photo textures and uh, that sort of thing. So that's all we have in terms of the modeling. Um, then for the atmospherics we have a bunch of these boxes and these are basically what give you your fog so if i go into where we end up uh, here we are. so this fog is accomplished using those boxes and each one of them basically has a volumetric texture for those of you who are familiar with blender that's basically a principal volume applied to the box, and that gives me um, this fog. And it's pretty, pretty easy to control, kind of get the look that you want. So um, that's about it. The cool thing about this workflow is that it's all real time. So all of this is happening in real time. I can see exactly what I want. I can place things as I want um all these lights are you know adjustable so i can change them around increase decrease the look of things change the color and get instant feedback and as a as an artist i mean that's just it's like a playground. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this image. Um, the whole idea was to have like a big, massive hero building coming out. I started with very simple block shapes and just kept adding more and more detail. And um, yeah, like most of it was done here. And then finally, just add a little bit of stuff on top and call it a day so yeah i hope that uh convinces some of you to learn blender because it's amazing and uh yeah let me know if you have questions bye